Hey guys, Retro Adam here, and today we're going to be going over my top 10 uh, Super Nintendo games. Um, we'll start off with Secret of Mana. Uh, they actually just announced a, a new Secret of Mana game uh, coming out called Visions of Mana. Uh, you can check out that trailer on Square Enix's uh, YouTube channel. Um, I'm super, super excited about that. I'm probably going to check that one out. Um, but here is some gameplay of... Secret of Mana. It's like an action role-playing game. And I've played, oh, I've played this like over 30 times, many, many times. It's a fantastic game. Uh, let's see if I can just load my game actually. Or do I have a game file? Oh yeah, I do. So yeah, just to give you an idea of what the gameplay is like. Kind of like a Legend of Zelda. Ugh. But yeah, if you watch the new trailer for Visions of Mana, it's got these enemies in it, like the mo the mushroom and the rabbit. Um, but yeah, another awesome game, action RPG, and it's great. You can do three player as well, which is super cool. Um, so that's Secret of Mana. Uh, next up, we have Final Fantasy III. And uh, I'll show you a bit of gameplay of that one. Another fantastic... Um, RPG. Uh, let's see if I've already started a game on here. Uh, might not have actually. No, it doesn't look like it. Let's see if we can fast forward this. But um, one of my favorite RPGs on the Super Nintendo. I think I like it more than Final Fantasy VII. Actually, I just I like the style of this one. The graphics. It's it's aged really well. Um, but definitely a game I can go back to again and again. Um, really, really like this game. But it doesn't seem like I can jump right into some gameplay, but great RPG. Uh, next up, we got Final Fantasy II. And that, uh, let's see if I can get some gameplay of that one, too. Ah, iconic opening. I used to just sit and listen to this opening over and over again. It's just so good. See if I have a. Oh, I don't think so. Just trying to fast forward it a bit. But again, another iconic RPG. Um, this one was kind of the story was so weird on this one. Everyone kept dying. Um, but you know, they were trying to figure things out. You know, they're they're trying things and trying to see if they could get a cohesive story going. <laughs> they obviously nailed it on the third one, but. Uh, another great RPG. Definitely check it out. Uh, next we have uh, Chrono Trigger. Let's see if we can get some gameplay of that one. This game's awesome because it's got like the Dragon Ball Z artist and the Final Fantasy creator um, and uh, I forget who did the music but um, they all collided together and just made this amazing RPG that just blew everybody's minds. But yeah. Uh, let's see if I can just get into a battle real quick. Another iconic RPG. Um, I don't know if I like this one more or Final Fantasy 3 more. It's hard to say. They're both really, really good. But here's a taste of the battle system. And that is Chrono Trigger. And next we got The Legend of Zelda, Link to the Past. Let's see if I got some gameplay of that one. Oh, 
I've got an auto save. Oh, there you go. I can't go up here. Another thing, cool thing about all these games is if you play on this device, they all have cool uh, retro achievements to get. So I'm going to do another video. Ow! I'm going to do another video on uh, retro achievements just to get people uh, into it. Um, so definitely stay tuned for that. Um, and that is Legend of Zelda. Oh, that's the world map. <laughs> uh, next up, we have Demon Crest. Kind of similar to Castlevania gameplay wise, but um, here I'll just show you some quick gameplay of that one too. And this device I'm using, it's the Anvernic 351M. It's the metal version. Um, super cool device. You can just play everything up to N64 and PlayStation pretty much. Uh, does this one have a save? I don't think so. I'm just gonna fast forward a bit. But um, this game, awesome music. Awesome graphics, great atmosphere, um, almost scary at certain parts, just how kind of, you know, it's a bit gory in certain parts. But it's a great um, action uh, platformer type game. It's a sequel to Gargoyles uh, Quest 2 on the NES. People thought it was, um, the game was like super short because they didn't know there was the hidden areas as well. So they only thought there was four stages, but the game's actually a lot longer than that. We got Castlevania 4. I'll show you a bit of that one. Oh, that's not the right one. Oh yeah, it's called Super Castlevania 4. Super Castlevania 4, there it is. And this, this game had, I think this was probably one of the first Super Nintendo games that had like just absolutely phenomenal music. Um, it's just, it's so good. I remember first playing this uh, when, it, when it came out and I was just blown away. And you can do like little shakes with your whip. Another um, fantastic game. Definitely check this out if you like, um, you know, kind of that uh, old school monsters like vampires, Frankenstein, um, Medusa, like all that kind of old school monsters. Um, just the music is just so good. Listen to that. Another classic, classic game. Um, and then let's go to... Next up we got Yoshi's Island. Let's show a bit of gameplay of that one. Uh, I think it's called Super... Yeah, Super Mario World Yoshi's Island. There you go. Do I have a save file already started on this? Oh, I do. Ah, let's just go to world one. Whoa. Sounds like the music's kind of weird on this one. Sometimes you have to switch the emulators because this one obviously is having issues running this game, but um, you just switch the emulator and some emulators run games better. And that's Yoshi's Island. 
And then I think, how many is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we've got nine here. Mega Man X. Another great, great platform with awesome music. Let's go into a bit of that. And then the final game for the Super Nintendo, I do not own, so I'll have to, um, I'll have to find that one. But again, here's another great game for the Super Nintendo. Awesome music, great graphic style. I don't know why this button is shoot and this is jump, so I'll have to change that. <laughs> This uh, this introduced uh, wall jumping um, and dashing. They had like power ups and stuff. Ah, Doctor Light gives you power ups, like dashing and uh, extra armor, things like that. But if you haven't played this one, highly recommend it. It's an awesome action game. I think it's the best one out of all the Mega Man X's. Um, although I do remember X -Men, Mega Man X Four being pretty good as well but this is the best Super Nintendo one, I think. Um, and then the final game I want to recommend is Super Mario RPG. And this just came out with a remake on the Switch. Um, so if you haven't played it before, um, although I like playing this version because it's got achievements. Um, so right, I was playing this recently just because I wanted to check out the achievements. Ah. Um, but yeah, if you haven't um, checked this one out, uh, it's on the Switch now. You can get it for, um, you can pick it up now. And uh, But for now, I'm, I would rather play this one just because of the achievements. So I'm looking forward to coming back and playing this one. Um, yeah, all right. So those are my 10 recommended um, Super Nintendo games. Uh, what are your favorites? If you have any, uh, leave them in the comments below. I'd like to know. Um, thanks for watching. See you next time.